hi viz welcome back to my channel this is maria nairobi for all the returning thank you so much and for all my newbies hey girl hey so today i wanted to review the new fenty um pro filter soft matte powder foundation i have not used the powder foundation in years like years years so i'm super excited i am a fenty fan i'm nervous about using the powder because powder is so different from liquid foundation and you'll see why i'll walk through it um so yeah let's just basically get into it so one thing about powder foundations you have to really prep your skin i would say more than you have to prep your skin when you're using um liquid foundation so i actually already uh washed toned and moisturized my face i do have a skincare routine video i will attach it in the description box um but yeah you definitely want to make sure i don't care if you have oily or dry or combination skin make sure your skin is moisturized because powder can be drying if you're not your skin is not properly prepared so with that being said i'm also going to go in and prime i'm using a no pore blend primer i will um have everything in the description box of the products that I'm using. But this is basically it. And I like the primer that attacks the pores because I do have somewhat really open pores. So I'm just going to rub that everywhere. Allow for that to dry a little bit. I'm still loving my Bob, guys. I do have a review on this uh, unit. I'll have that in the description box as well. I'm really loving it. Amazon did their thing and it was relatively reasonable. So I am here for it. Um, I'm also using a no pore blend prime essence and this is just the liquid form. I use both of them. They're really hydrating because I do have dry skin. And then also they took care of my pores because right all right here, I have like pretty open pores. Oh yeah. All right. And I would say, like, I heard really good things so far about the powder. I'm going for a medium to uh, full coverage look. So let's see if I can accomplish that with the powder. So the thing with powder. So you know with, um, if you know anything about, you know, makeup, with liquid foundation, you usually would prime your face, put the... Um, do your eyebrows if that's what you prefer. Do your eyes if that's what you prefer. That's what I prefer. And then I would put the foundation on and then my concealer, then my highlight, then my blush, my contour, so forth and so on. With um, powder foundation, it's a little different. It's kind of opposite. So what I would actually do is put my foundation, my, sorry, my concealer and my highlighter, my contour, my blush on first and then go in with the powder. I know that sounds crazy, but that's what it is. I didn't make the rules. So I'm going to um, actually do my eyebrows first. I, 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 that doesn't change. I all, you know, everybody watched my videos before. I do like to do my eyebrows first. All right, so I did my brows off camera. All right, so what we're going to do next is, again, you have to do basically everything backwards. So I'm going to conceal now. I will be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Caramel. And here it is. Again, I'll have everything in the description box for you guys. And again, like, it's not, like, going to be, like, anything special um, Well, how you apply it. Just apply it the regular way. And then I also, since with, with the, we're using powder, I'm also going to pick a sealer in the areas where I do have dark spots. I don't normally do this when I'm using, um, when I'm using uh, liquid foundation. But with powder, I think it's going to be necessary. So, yeah. Yeah, and I'm going with my Real Techniques brush. I'm just going to buff it out. I'm really covering up my mustache, y'all. <laughs> I really need to cut that, but I feel like every time I cut it, and it worked pretty good. 
every time I cut it or shave it off, it comes right back. Even like thicker. Like, come on, stash, get out of here. And I'm just buffing that out. I, lo I love this. Um, this is definitely one of my um, favorite concealers, the NARS. But it's 30 bucks. So you see, I got the compact. That was 13 because my pockets ain't have it. I mean, I can do the 13. I couldn't do the 30. <laughs> but seriously, they tripping. But it's worth it. I'm going to end up buying the 30. Like, I don't know. I'm playing. Well, I don't know why I'm playing myself because I know I'm going to end up doing it. Buying it. All right, so then I'm gonna go in, um, like I normally would. <sighs> Bridge the nose, buff it out. All right, so that's just basically for coverage. And then I'm gonna go in with my highlight. Um, I'm going to use another NARS. I don't remember the color of this, so I'm actually going to have to, um, I will try to add it to the description box what color this is, but this is my highlight color. And another tip too, like, you know how when you had, when you're using liquid foundation, um, and you're doing your concealer, you can always build upon it. So if you do your makeup and you're doing your concealer, and you're like, hmm, I want a better highlight. You just go back in and put more highlight. With powder, once you put the powder on top, you can't go back and do that. So you got to kind of make sure whatever, like you want it to be basically perfect um, before you apply this powder. And I know I want a highlight. Y'all know I love my highlight. So that's why... I'm already going in with it because I know. And I'm just going to buff that out. As you can see. Taking a brush and buffing it out. Blending it in. I hope this is a win, y'all, because I haven't used powder foundation in so long. I hope it looks nice. I'm really low-key nervous. All right, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my beauty blender, and then I'm going to spray it with setting spray, and then go back in and blend some more. I like doing that just because it, like, I know for a fact that it's going to be set, and I'm using the Continuous Setting Mist by Morphe. All right, same thing on the other side. I'm just setting it in. All right. Next, I'm gonna go in with my con contour. I'm using the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette from Medium to Dark. This is one of my favorite um, contours. And then I'm gonna use these two colors. Boop, boop. Really? <laughs> All right. I feel so weird doing everything like backwards. All right, so I'm just going to like sculpt it in. If you ever need help to know like where you should be contouring at, be like, and then bring it up. I'm going to go a little deeper with my contour just because I'm going to be putting, putting the, um, the powder foundation on top, as you know. And I, I, when I'm going in, I'm going in literally with both the colors. I really don't contour my like my head and my forehead too much because I have a smaller forehead. At least I would think. Um, oh yeah. And 
And this is a wet and wild brush. I actually got this from the um, dollar store, actually. Um, and this is one of my favorite um, contour brushes. All right, and then I'm gonna go in, pinch it, go in, scope my my nose. I didn't put any a traditional product on it. All right. Okay, no, it's not time yet. <laughs> I'm tripping. All right, I'm gonna go in with the Elf um, blush, and this is in the color Always Rosy. All right. All right, and then I'll highlight after. I'll use my um, my highlighting, my highlighter after I apply the powder foundation. I'm nervous. Oh my God. <laughs> I hope it looks right, y'all. All right, so I got the color 360. Um, it comes with like a, it comes with this. I'm nervous to use this. I, I'm actually gonna use one of my own. Mm. So I'm actually, I'm using like a lot of e.l.f. products today. Shout out to e.l.f. Um, as y'all see, we can see like I mix and match my products high end low end um i use what works and i'm always ready to say some coin so i'm using this elf powder brush so i wouldn't want more a uh, brush to use a brush that's a little more dense um so yeah so i'm gonna go with this brush all right this is how it looks it's so cute it comes with a mirror and a little uh i guess powder applicator sponge so i'm just going i hope this is my color this is my color in the pro filter um foundation so okay i hope y'all can see that can y'all see that okay it feels like i have nothing on but i can see I could see like my skin like literally blending out. So when I'm going over like my um, concealed and highlighter blush areas, I'm not putting that much product on it. And then for the areas that I have nothing on, I'm like packing it on. Does that make sense? Okay, guys, like, so, so far, I'm enjoying it. I'm liking it. Oh, my gosh. Like, I don't know how it's looking on, cam um, on camera, but in person, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. I never know. Like, so I was watching um, Jackie Anna's video because she just reviewed this, like, I think, like, a week ago. And she was saying that, like, with powder, the thing is, you don't know if you miss a spot until, like, kind of afterwards when you're, like, reviewing your face. And I'm, like, looking, like, did I miss a spot? I want to be out because I, I haven't run um, a few errands. So I don't want to be out. And I'm missing, like, <laughs> and I'm missing a spot. Okay. Okay. This looks amazing. This is definitely full coverage or medium. I would say medium coverage. It looks pretty good. Like, I wish you guys can see what I see. Like, 
in the mirror, but I'm loving this. It looks good. Okay, Fenty. Okay, and I'm not feeling dry. I'm not feeling dry at all. Let's be clear. I'm not feeling dry. Um, I'm going to go in with my highlighter. I'm using the Wet n Wow. Um, what color is this? I don't know what color this is. But I'm, I'm going with like a simple one. I use this, the Morphe M433 brush. Just to go in with the highlighter. Okay, now I'm just going to do my eyes. I'm use the Hank and Henry eyeliner. As you guys know, I do like a simple. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'll take that back. Because what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to use the, um, I actually did a review on this, the eyeliner, um, eyelash glue i did a review on this i actually really like it i'm again i'm not doing like i'm not going out like to party or anywhere i'm just running a few errands so when i'm running a few errands i like to use that because it will last the amount of time that i need it to last um so that's what i'm going to use today all right so now that i got the lashes on that last one gave me some trouble um i am going to go in with some eyeliner and just do my lower lash line and i'm using the um elf black no uh budge eyeliner and i'm just doing my lower lash line all right easy peasy and then I'm just going to go in with the Morphe um, Continuous Setting Mist and just set my, my makeup. You know what I didn't do? Y'all, I forgot to set my damn concealer. I'm like, why is my concealer... Let me see what I can do. I'm going to see what I can do. Because how did I forget that? I'm going to go on with the Becca. Um, the Becca setting. Um, setting powder. And let's see if I can. Fix this. Don't ever do that. So then I'm going to take. Um. The same brush that I use to apply the powder foundation. And I'm going to just blend it away. Okay. Okay. And I'm just going to go back in with a little... A little bit of the... Um, the powder foundation again not a lot huh <sighs> all right so I still like it um I don't again I don't know how I forgot that <laughs> but I did that's a no no you don't want creased um you don't want creased you don't want creased uh, concealer. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a with the oldie. Like you remember, this pink was like in. I feel like I don't know. These polka dots is just giving me like a pink vibe. This is actually Milani. They are more matte. Okay, I'm liking this. Okay, babes, I like it. I would give this out of ten. I would definitely give this an eight. I really like it. Um, I feel like I will give it a nine. Actually, I feel like it's definitely medium to full coverage. Um, 
it was definitely weird for me because I haven't used a powder foundation in literally years, probably since I was in high school and I'm 30 now. So <laughs> it's been about 10 plus years. Um, but I definitely like it. I think this is a great formula. Um, this is definitely wouldn't be if I'm going like out, out, and I need that full coverage look. I would not choose this product. However, if I was going to run errands or like a quick date or something like that, I would use it. Um, it says that it's supposed to be long wearing, so we'll see about that. But I love it. I think it looks very cute. The 360 did match me. So I think that if you personally, if you wear a certain um, shade in the liquid foundation with Fenty, you should be able to carry it over to the powder. That's just my opinion. Um, but I really do like it. Good job, Rihanna. Once again, I definitely, definitely like this. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you like it? I'm loving it. So in the description box, I will put the products that I use. I will also attach the my bob unit. I do have a tutorial um, video on that. I will have that in the description box. And also my lashes, I actually did these are on by a liquid... Um, basically eyeliner that works as glue so i have a video on that as well so i have everything in the description box but thank you so much so much so much for watching me hit the bell like comment subscribe so you can stay in contact with me love you babes bye